Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide rule tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to properly charge a unit with the superheat method. If you have a super cool slide rule, get it out. We will be using it in this tutorial. We will be using the instructions on the side that's labeled superheat non-TXV. Now before using this method, we must visually verify that there is not a TXV at the evaporator coil. This may require removal of the panel that covers the evap coil. Once we have visually verified that there is not a TXV installed, we can proceed with the process. A note of caution, many technicians are under the false impression that because an outdoor unit is printed with TXV in the system data plate, that this somehow indicates that the unit is equipped with a TXV. All this actually indicates is a TXV is recommended for this unit. Many times, the installer installed a coil without a TXV to save money. So once again, I ask you to visually verify that there is not a TXV at the EVAP coil. First, obtain the indoor wet bulb. If necessary, watch the tutorial titled Wet Bulb Temperature Dash Obtaining. We set the wet bulb temperature in window one, as seen here. In this example, I will use 64 degrees as my wet bulb temperature. Next, obtain the outdoor dry bulb temperature and locate that temperature here in area two. We will record the required superheat temperature directly to the right of the outdoor temperature. In this example, our outdoor temperature will be 90 degrees, so our required superheat is nine degrees. Our next step is to measure the vapor line pressure. Now the vapor line is the larger of the two lines on a split unit or the line labeled low side on a package unit. We set the pressure in window four, use the green box for R22 or the pink box for R410A. In this example, our suction line pressure will be 70 PSIG. So we set 70 in the R22 box we then proceed to box five and locate our previously recorded required superheat, which if you recall was nine. Directly above the nine degree mark here is 50. So 50 degrees is our required vapor line temperature. Measure the vapor line temperature. If the temperature is higher than 50 degrees, add refrigerant until you reach 50 degrees. And remember to be patient, add a little refrigerant at a time, and wait a minute or two, then add a little bit more. Now, if your temperature is lower than 50 degrees, you need to perform the test for correct system airflow and make any recommended recommendations. After all of the possibilities have been eliminated and your measured line temperature is still below 50, the removal of refrigerant will be necessary. Now this concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned and let us introduce you to the super cool slide rule. It is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. It is guaranteed to save you countless hours. It gives you rapid access to all the data you need. It is the coolest tool out there. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, 
as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.